Rulings of one's hair. He who has hair should honour it. Prophetic guidance to honour and take care of the hair. For hair is adornment and beauty. Allah beautified women and adorned men with it. And the Sharia, Islamic legislation, is all-inclusive. So it has different rulings for a Muslim's hair with its variety. Amongst the rulings are shaving or trimming it to obey and get closer to Allah the Exalted. For example, shaving a boy's head on the seventh day after his birth. Shaving or trimming a man's hair during Hajj or Umrah. Shaving a non-Muslim's head when converting to Islam. Plucking the armpit hair, trimming the moustache and shaving pubic hair. It's narrated that Anas ibn Malik said, We were given a time limit with regard to trimming the moustache, shaving the pubic hairs, plucking the armpit hairs and clipping the nails. We were not to leave that for more than 40 days. There are cases where shaving is forbidden, such as shaving the hair of the head as a religious act at times other than the ones mentioned previously, which is a bid'ah, innovation within the religion. Also, shaving the head in case of a calamity, shaving the hair to imitate sinful people or disbelievers, women shaving the hair to imitate men, shaving the beard and plucking one's eyebrows. Also, it's not allowed to cut or shave the head in two conditions, state of ihram during hajj or umrah, and starting from day one of the hijjah for the one who is slaughtering until he makes the sacrifice. Some shaving is makruh, disliked. For instance, al-qaza', which is having part of the hair shaved and leaving part of it unshaved. And if it is imitating sinful people, then it is forbidden. And there are permitted acts of shaving, such as shaving the hair of the head in case of sickness or harm. The rest of the body except what Islam has excluded. And a woman, a woman cutting her hair for beautification and adornment without forbidden imitation. For it is proven that the wives of the Prophet وسلم, used to cut their hair until it reached just below their ears. And it is permissible to dye the hair in any colour except black whether for an old or young man or men and women. And there's no harm in colouring the hair before white hair shows, as long as it is not imitating disbelievers or sinful people, for it is haram, forbidden. It was narrated that Jabir ibn Abdullah said, Abu Quhafa was brought on the day of the conquest of Mecca, and his hair and beard were like a white plant. The Messenger of Allah wasallam, said, Change this with something, but avoid black.